Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on creating reflections without plugins. My name is Steve Lederbach, and today what I'd like to show you is a very simple way of giving your text and some of your logos the appearance of having reflective properties. Now this is obviously not a solution to a real 3D program, but it is a great way of stylizing your text and you can do some really cool things with it. Plus, I can honestly say that I've used this technique several times with different clients and they've all seemed to be pretty impressed, which is never a bad thing. That being said, let's just take a quick look here um, at sort of what we're going to be creating. Now there's obviously a few different uh, things going on in this example here, but what we're really going to be looking at is uh, the reflections and how, you know, as the camera moves and as the text moves, the reflections are actually moving relative to their position, which is something you'd obviously find true of real reflections. And the best part is it's all based on one really simple effect. So why don't we go ahead and get started and I'll just show you how simple this really is. So here we are inside of After Effects and um, I've already opened up a new composition and I'm working at 1280 by 720 and I'm going to start by choosing Layer, New, Solid. And we will make it comp size and we will just type in, um, we'll name it Noise and click OK. And then we'll go to our effects panel and choose Effect, uh, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. And then I'm just going to uh, change a few things. I'll drop down the Transform Properties and uh, uncheck Uniform Scaling. And I'm just going to scale up the height a little bit. Um, maybe just make it a little bit wider. Um, that's not bad for now. And then I'm going to choose Effect, Blur and Sharpen, uh, Fast Blur. And then we'll just blur this out by about, um, well, maybe 25. And repeat Edge Pixels. And now that we've got that set up, we can create our text. And I will just type, oh, that's big, Reflections. And we'll just uh, scale this down here. And what I found works best with this effect is usually a text that's either, you know, really kind of thick or bold or kind of just elegant looking is the other one. So I think um, in my example, in the, the first text, I used something like, um, yeah, this one here, Minion Pro. And then um, for the last example um, was Air... Yeah, Air Mill House Italic. But you can really just kind of experiment with any text you like. Just keep in mind that usually the bold ones or kind of the fancier looking ones um, ends up looking the best. So the next thing we'll do is make both of them 3D. And we'll take the noise and just push it back in Z space. And then we will scale it back up. And here's the effect that makes this all possible, which is actually really this track mat option here, which you want to switch to alpha mat. So what do we have now? Well, right now, not much of anything, except that our noise is only showing through our text. But what happens when we create a new camera? Okay, 50 millimeters is fine. And then we select our orbit tool. Take a look at this. So hopefully by now you're starting to see what I'm getting at. And if we just uh, switch our view here for a moment to this custom view, I'm going to kind of show you what's going on here. So our noise is back here and our text is up here. And if we take our camera and move it around, the distance between the two is creating a parallax. But because we have an alpha channel selected, the parallax is only showing through the text. But even through the custom view here, you can obviously see we have another problem. So let's just switch our custom view back to the active camera. 
and you can see here that our text is getting cut off. And that's obviously because as the noise in the background starts to move out of frame, the empty pixels are showing through the alpha channel. Bottom line is there's a really easy way to fix that. So if we select our noise and go up to Effects, Stylize, Motion Tile, and we check off the Mirror Edges option, and then we change the output width to, uh, say, 500. And we can just um, do the output height at 200 for now. Now we've extended our noise map. So the next thing we want to do is pre-compose our text and our noise. And we will just call this text. Move all attributes and click OK. And then over here, we want to collapse our transformations. So by doing that, we've now managed to keep our parallax effect. And by pre-composing it, we can now start adding some effects that'll really help us sell this effect. So I think the first one I'll add here is um, effect stylize, no effect perspective, bevel alpha. And that'll just give us a little bit of roundness around the edges. Uh, we won't change anything right now. And then the next effect I will add is effect uh, stylize CC glass. And let's change a few things here. Uh, we'll change the property to alpha. And let's bring the softness down a lot. Let's, um, let's do like maybe five. And bring the displacement down. Uh, Ten. And we can even mess around with the shading and the lighting a little bit. Um, let's bring up the specular. Let's see. And, uh, bring it down the ambient a little. And now if we add um, effects, color correction, colorama. And change the first let's uncheck modify alpha here which is under modify by the way and then change the output cycle to um, I like this golden too now we can really start to see our effect take some form okay it's moving a little slow so I'm gonna try um, let's just try half resolution there we go pretty cool so obviously the color is still not where I want it yet. So let's go to effect uh, color correction, uh, hue and saturation. And let's just bring down the saturation a little bit. Um, change our screen to fit. And for now, since we're not animating, let's bring that back up to 100. Okay, that's not too bad. And let's actually just double click on our text here and go into um, the first composition. Um, click on our noise, uh, go up to our fractal noise, and let's just increase the contrast and maybe uh, bring in the width a little bit so we can kind of see more of a variation and go back to reflections. Okay. And then another thing I like to do, um, first let's collapse some of these, is go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. And let's change original colors to A and B colors. Uh, white is fine for the first one, um, but for the second one, let's pick something a little brighter. And let's uh, decrease the threshold and just bring up the radius a little bit. Okay, it's really starting to shape out to be something pretty cool. Uh, let's also maybe um, add a curves adjustment. Just sharpen it a little, not much. Maybe go back and uh, just desaturate it a little bit. So really stylizing this thing is all up to you. 
And obviously another thing you can do is um, change your hue and saturation to colorize and um, just kind of play around with the different colors. Brightness. But basically that's it. That's that's the effect. And um, there are a lot of really creative ways that you can use it. Um, and if we just want to jump back into my example here for a minute, um, you can see that um, on this one I actually added uh, some borders. And on the first one I used some uh, fractal noise and uh, duplicated it a bunch of times and just kind of placed it all around in 3D space. Um, and kind of created like this light streak effect. The other thing you can do um, if you think your text is going to be pretty static is you can jump back into your text document and just slightly animate the evolution of your fractal noise. Um, so if you hold down Alt and uh, click the stopwatch, you can type uh, time times maybe just uh, 75 and let's just ram preview that and see what that looks like okay that's not bad let's see what it looks like over here Okay, pretty cool. All right. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just um, let's create a border really quick. Let's just uh, go up into our projects panel and um, take this text layer and duplicate it. Um, we'll just name this one border and drop that in above our text uh, double click um, and then in our text let's go over here and, um, and click on our stroke uh, make it white and let's turn our fill off and then let's just uh, let's just make it a little less thick uh, we'll try five. If we go back into our main composition, our um, reflective text composition, and um, collapse this transformation, we can take all of our effects on um, the text layer and just um, hold down shift to select all, control C, and go back to our border and paste. Okay, and then just for some variation, we can desaturate it some more. And maybe, I don't know, decrease the glow threshold. Um, let's jump back into the border and just maybe make it just a little bit thicker. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and then just a smart thing to do is to uh, link these texts together. So if we just grab our like grab your border and drag it off the palette here, hmm. I have another screen open over here, so I'm just gonna drag it off the screen and bring it in, and then go to our um, text here. Um, and bring down the text and the source text here and then grab um, our um, main text, the, the fill text uh, reflections, the first one we created and take our border and alt click on the source text and pick whip it to the source text of our reflections um, and then to reattach this, just grab the little tab and uh, drag it right back to this bar here. And then um, in our text, 
um, if we change our text it should update both so yeah there you have it um, that's the effect and uh, hopefully you find this as cool and interesting as I do and hopefully you'll be able to take it and use it and make some really cool things with it that being said if you have any questions or comments please feel free to message me on um, on the cow forum below so thanks again for taking the time to uh, check out this tutorial message me on the cow and I will see you soon my name is Steve Lederbach and for all of you out there best of luck with all of your creations thanks